Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we shall talk about structure optimization for hexagonal and tetragonal lattices. I have a structure for graphene. This is the unit cell of the graphene. It may not be very clear how it is the unit cell, but if you make supercell, then you will see this represents the graphene structure. If you need to review how to uh, make supercell, you may uh, watch this video. Okay, we will uh, first initialize in uh, optimizing the structure. Now, since the uh, structure has been initialized, we will go for this button optimize b c by a since this is a hexagonal structure when running the x optimize we will select the second option vary c by a ratio with constant volume this is actually for tetragonal and hexagonal lattices it keeps the volume of the unit cell fixed but it changes the c by a ratio we shall select um, like this two zero. So here I need to specify uh, about uh, how I am gonna change C by A. Then I will click on execute. Now you can edit the optimization uh, script. Here I didn't initialize with spin polarization. If you opti uh, want to do spin polarization optimization, then you may need to change this line as this says run sp. But for the tutorial purpose, I will keep it as uh, it is. Now I shall run the x optimize job. Okay, it may take a while to finish the calculation okay since the calculation has finished now we can click again to optimize and uh, we can plot to see what is the optimized structure we have to select here e versus c by a now if i click plot you can see i have seven files and it prints the some data and it shows the beautiful graph showing that the with the two percent c by a ratio increase uh, the that's the optimized structure now here also for the optimized structure the values are printed also an eps file is created now if you want to run again, say if you didn't get your point exactly at the bottom somewhere, you may run again or after getting the suitable, the closest one structure, then you can edit the structure to get to use these values because these are the optimized structure estimated from the curve. First the curve was uh, uh, plotted with the fitting of these available data, then from the curve the minimum points was uh, estimated now if you need to run again in any case in you should select this one test underscore initial structure because this has been changed for every uh, new structure is saved as this one and then scf is uh, calculated because if you see here, I have seven files. So the struct file that is showing the test underscore, it is actually same as this one. If you select the initial one, then this will be the original one. That is, uh, if you go again here, that is with this one zero. Because with the zero, I didn't. I mean that I don't want to make any changes. Now, if you look at the uh, PNG file, you can use it. Uh, you can use terminal to open it. You 
you can see this is very small and if you zoom it it fades also if you open the eps file this is the the plot is reversed so you won't be able to use it unless you rotate it to solve these issues i have uh, wrote a script the script you can get from the script section this is the script to save c by a ratio optimization with constant volume i will use this script if you need to review how to use external script you may you watch this video so for that uh, to run this i have saved the script in this folder so to run it i will use this is the name of the script save underscore c o a s h now it just ask uh, whether i have did the calculation for c by a or not just press enter now you see this is the nice plot is given and um, this is almost same plot, but this is a, a bigger size. And now it shows that what are the values, uh, total energy values, uh, with the change of C by A ratio, but all the volumes are constant. So I will select one because the two percent is the minimum volume. You can check the values from here easily. Also, we have shown, we have seen it from the graph. So I'll select one here okay now the data are saved so two uh, files are created with the image uh, this is the one png and this is one the eps i've shown you the png now if let's see the, let's open the eps file you can see this is a better plot than the default one and the with the advantage of the eps file is you can zoom in as much as you like without uh, losing any anything in the text okay the files are saved and also uh, you can see that the default plot was also it's uh, here and all the necessary files are saved in this directory that is the this one and uh, extra files that may not be necessary are uh, here once uh, you examine that you have all the files you may delete this folder and this is actually for my students i like them to send me this file so that i can check their calculations okay that's all for today thank you